Life experiences were Mark Bowman's inspiration when he founded Ball and Buck. Growing up hunting and fishing with his father and grandfather gave him an infinite appreciation to the outdoor lifestyle. Mark took those experiences and applied them to his business, building products and experiences that set the industry benchmark for quality. He takes great pride in manufacturing all of his products, many of which are handmade, right here in the U.S. I grew up in the outdoors and have been in the outdoors literally since I can remember. And that kind of lifestyle of, of getting out there uh, and doing things is, is really what planted the early seeds for what ultimately became Ball and Buck. I was a uh, law student at Flying Freight and attending uh, Woodrow Wilson College of Law here in Atlanta. My boss came up to me one day and said, uh, we have a big problem in the company, it's insurance. Take a look at this and just give me an idea of what all of this means. I'm a pilot, I know nothing about aviation insurance. And he said, well, damn it, learn. So with that comment, I mean, literally changed my career. I'm in the aviation insurance business. Uh, we insure airplanes all over the world. We have three offices, typically about three or four people in each office at any given time. Most of the housing in this area was base housing. I believe it was closed in 61, but over the years, uh, the area has become somewhat blighted, and with blight comes undesirables. There are a lot of good people here, but there are a lot of bad people. There was an insurance agency of all things. Several women were in the office, this individual came in, one or two of the women left. When they returned from lunch, their colleague was dead. Had that lady had a, a weapon, I think things would have been different. We have a right to defend ourselves. The Atlanta metro area is certainly, like any large metro area, has crime. It's in the top 10 meanest cities in Georgia. I travel a lot. When you leave your employees there, to me it's irresponsible not to have protection in place. When I was hired, I actually asked Lance, I've been carrying a firearm for 15 years, and said, you know, I like to carry to work every day. Is that going to be an issue? And I'd like to point out, that is a mandate in my office. You must have a concealed weapons permit. It's great to have a boss that supports our safety and our right to protect ourselves. This and more on NRA All Access.